Hi guys, welcome back to Three Chestnuts in a Bay. This is the first video of three, as it's the first day of a three-day horse show. This was Friday, and since it was Friday, we only had one class, and we arrived at the showgrounds around 12 p.m., maybe one-ish, so that we could set up lime stall and put water in and sawdust in and get her tacked up and let her see the new showgrounds. This is my sister and I eating lunch, and we ate barbecue, so here are some food pictures. Anyways, fast forwarding on, Lime and I schooled in the schooling ring so that she could see the new showgrounds and settle in and wear off any energy that she had so that she would be nice and lazy the moment we went into the show ring. It was fairly chilly outside, but I smartly made the decision of wearing short sleeves. Luckily, I had my safety vest on, which kept me warm, but on the inside, I was freezing. And Lime has a very fast-paced trot as she is shaved and was probably a little cold. But she finally gets warmed up, lets her muscles get warmed, and she settles into her trot, as you'll see during our little schooling hack. And she'll settle into her canner quite nicely and have a nice, steady pace. I typically don't jump a lot before I go into the show ring. I usually do one or two jumps and then usually Lime and I are pretty prepared. So as you can tell between the two videos, I changed from a schooling outfit to my show clothes and this had about two hour gap so I have to school her a little bit so I think I only rode her for about 15 minutes before I went into the ring and I warm her muscles up, I warm up her trot and I think I do a little bit of canter work and then I enter the ring. On the left hand side is an indoor ring that's almost like a coliseum type thing and then on the right is the covered arena which the ponies show in so I will be in the ring on the right. Lime and I only had one class for the day and it was an over fences and this is a medals class meaning it's judged more so on equitation. And since the very first jump is in the front, we do a courtesy circle on the left lead and then we approach our first jump and the second jump was an awkward angle diagonal and as the camera pans over you'll see that the angle is quite weird as normally you would make a nice pretty hunter turn where that quarter line jump is but you can't so I decided to take it straight as opposed to most people went around the quarter line but I just prefer to go straight in so then I didn't have any swapping of leads so then we take the long approach to this single diagonal jump and line gets the distance beautifully and we move forward to I believe the outside quarter line and she fixes the distance and we're on our left lead to make the turn and we head to the diagonal line and then to finish the course we head to this outside line coming towards the end gate And then at the very end of the course, you're required to halt next to the hay bells, as you'll see. So Lime and I come to a halt, and we halt for five seconds, and then we turn around and walk back and exit the ring. 
and then after our course we were allowed to school our ponies over the jumps so I went ahead and took the opportunity to school Lime over a few fences just before the pony division started the next day. So enjoy these small clips of me going over a few of the outside and diagonal lines. So earlier I talked about how there were two covered arenas, one being the pony ring and then another being a coliseum type ring. Well this ring is the coliseum type ring and since I had schooled Lime over some of the pony jumps, I decided to cool her out in the coliseum type ring as opposed to a schooling ring so that if we came back another time for a derby or any type of class that was held in that ring, she would have already been in that arena before and it wouldn't be the first time jumping or walking or flatting in that arena as it is quite a lot to take in as she is only six years old and hasn't ever been in any type of like stadium ring especially with the bleachers and the fact that people can walk up and down the bleachers is just spooky in itself but I was really pleased with the fact that she didn't seem to care at all and she seemed more ready to do walk chalk canter work as opposed to cooling out and then we took a quick little ribbon picture as in the medals round out of about 14 or 15 people I placed sixth and then as you can see it was raining as we headed back to our stall and then i took an extra video of what the stalls look like what the barn looked like so the barn in itself of i think about six barns on the showgrounds is there's stalls on the inside of the barn and then stalls on the outside this time around we got stalls on the outside which i kind of preferred as it gave us a little more space as you had this wall where the hay is and then where my trunk was after Lime was tucked away to go to sleep with her blanket on and all warm and cozy, we decided to drive out and get boba tea and we took some pictures. So I hope you guys enjoy these pictures and enjoyed this video and I hope you guys make sure to stay tuned for the next video as there will be a day two and day three show video. Anyways, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.